All right, this is a replication of a magnetic, electromagnetic levitation device. Uh, it was posted by Adam Bus 77 and he called it the quick and dirty magnetic levitation. It just uses two transistors and it's very simple and uh, I didn't really want to use the op amp deal or the Hall effect sensor. Uh, I just wanted something simple and this thing worked. Um, it just uses a couple of transistors uh, a PNP and an NPN and then uh, 470 ohm resistors up here it uses an infrared uh, LED and then a um, phototransistor down here and uh, it varies the uh, base current to this first transistor which tells this transistor to turn it off turn on and off which energizes the coil and this is a smoothing capacitor over here and uh, it just runs it on 5 volts. But anyway, I put it together today. And uh, mine's a little different, but it worked. And uh, this is my setup here. And uh, Slayer, um, or actually Slider, is the one that uh, got me turned on to this. And he, he made a really nifty one using um, the op amp method. Uh, but the same thing with the um, infrared uh, LED and the um, receiver transistor on that side and you can see my little uh, magnet arrangement with the screw is floating in midair right there and uh, I'm just running this on six volts it draws about uh, 100 milliamps or something like that it starts out at 300 milliamps and then by the time it gets set up there it's drawn about 100 to 150 or so but I've got this so that I can blow on it and make it turn and uh, one of the things that uh, Slider and I are trying to work with is a rotor suspended that way so that there would be no friction except air friction. And uh, what I'd like to do is get away from any sort of a bearing contact, if I could, on these little, uh, these little motors and try to make some kind of a suspended uh, rotor. But it's much much harder than it would appear. Let me get this turning and I'll show you what happens. It goes unstable. And to try to get this stabilized uh, would be very very hard when you're pushing on it with those electromagnets. So I don't know if this is possible or not but it sure would be fun to try. Anyway, this was for Slider, but it also was a replication of Adam Bus 77's quick and dirty magnetic levitation device. There it goes. <laughs> I'll see if I can get it to set up here again. It's very, very hard to do, and uh, I'll give this about a 50% probability of success. What do you know? I got it the first time. But yeah, it's a very critical. Uh, um, balancing act right there and uh, this is the first time I've been able to get anything to work and I've tried this several times. I actually started trying this when I was nine years old and could never get it to work but anyway this time I was successful and uh, there it is magnetic levitation thanks for watching